alter ego of Dr. David Banner, the Hulk, the other side of the coin, the raging soul of an otherwise peaceful man, the incredible Hulk, huge, powerful, unthinking, destructive, wanted for murder. David Bruce Banner, gentle physician and healer, now a fugitive from himself, living in the shadow of the monster within, forever fearful of its next outburst of violence, desperate in his search for an answer, a cure. There's got to be a way. I can't go on like this, a prisoner of my own emotions. For it is anger which triggers the altered molecular mechanism within his body that turns the gentle physician into a rampaging monster. I can't go on forever wondering if there's a killer within me, never knowing where or when he might emerge, forever hiding my true identity. David Bruce Banner, calling himself David Benson, man on the run, on the road to everywhere, searching, always searching. Okay, Benson. This is as far as I go. Oh, thanks a lot. Johnville, huh? Coal mining town. Ain't much to look at, but you might find a job here. Well, thanks again. Mr. Jason? Uh, that's me. Somebody said you had a job opening. Yeah, the payroll department. Uh, could use someone. Well, my name's uh, Benson. David Benson. This is my daughter, Betty. Hi. How do you do? And this is Keith Moore, our general manager. You'll be working for him if you qualify. Mr. Moore? You had any experience in accounting, uh, Benson? No, not exactly, but I, I've got a college degree. What field? Uh, chemistry. That doesn't mean you can figure payroll. <laughs> Keith, darling, if Mr. Benson knows chemistry, I'm sure he's good with figures. The job's temporary. Well, that's okay with me. All right. What do you say, Keith? It's your coal mine. You're on, Benson. Keith will show you around and what to do. Keith? Yeah, Benson? Well, I was looking through this ledger and... Give me that see, book. I was just going to point out that... These you... aren't the accounts you're supposed to be working on. Well, there seems to be some discrepancy I between... I said the... these books aren't part of your job. Do I make myself clear? Okay. Sorry, but I'm uptight today. Just get back on these payroll forms, will you? Sure. Lunch, Keith? Not now, Betty. I think I'll work through. How about you, David? Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds good, Miss Jason. The name's Betty. Come on, I'll show you the great little drab town of Johnville. Joe, so that about sums it up. Car was on fire. I was able to escape, but my... My wife was trapped. I, I couldn't get her out. She died. I'm sorry, David. Ever since that day, I've thought... I thought if only I had that... that superhuman strength, that surge of untapped energy that comes in time of crisis, if I'd had that, I might have saved her. Don't torture yourself, David. Nobody has that kind of brute strength. To be able to turn over a flaming automobile with his bare hands. Some do. Name one. The Hulk. Who? I... I don't... I don't know. What, what did I say? Hulk, a bulk, something like that. Oh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know why I said that. I, I can't remember. David, are you all right? Huh? Uh, sure, sure, I'm, I'm fine. Don't mind me. Sometimes I, I get absent-minded, like the proverbial professor. Uh, let's order, shall we? For David Bruce Banner, the Hulk is a shadow. A dark, forbidding shape existing deep in his mind. He is aware but cannot remember. He suspects but cannot prove. He lives in constant fear of this unknown being within him. The Hulk. The horrible result of David Banner's experiments with gamma rays when he tried to find superhuman strength. Now that he possesses it, it has become a nightmare. What about you, Betty? Very simple, very fast. I'm the daughter of a coal miner. A nice guy, my father, but not very successful. So I help him with the mine. And here I am, stranded in drab little Johnville. How is the mine doing? Not very well. Losing money? No matter how much coal we mine, the profits never seem to go up. Dad's even thinking of closing down. Why, David? Well, nothing. Just, just wondered, that's all. What do you want, Benson? 
Look, I haven't said anything to Betty or to Mr. Jason. What are you talking about? The other ledger, the double set of books. Are you out of your mind? More, I'm not an accountant, but even a kid could figure that you're bilking the mind, stealing the Jasons blind. You are bonkers. Am I? Betty's a nice girl, thinking about marrying you. The old man looks on you like a son. So? Maybe you have time to save yourself, Keith. How would I go about that? Restitution. Put the money back. They never know. I was doing it for their own good, you know. Come on, Keith. I'm not kidding, Benson. The least you can do is hear me out. All right, I'm listening. Jason's an old man. He's lost his touch, doesn't care anymore. Betty never knew much about mining anyway. Wasn't interested. There's an old section of the mine, tunneled by Jason's grandfather before the turn of the century. It's full of high-grade anthracite. I've been putting the money there, improving it. I know it'll pay off. Why haven't you told them? They were against it from the start. They think it's mined out, but I know it isn't. Will all this expense show up in the books? Sure. Better than that, let me show you the mine. But... Wait till you see that coal. Pure anthracite. Come on. It's only a little way. About a mile out. <laughs> Over here, Benson. I thought you said you were improving this place. That's what I said. Now, these support timbers, they're rotted. Not up ahead. You've been repairing from the inside out? That's where the anthracite is. Wouldn't it be safer to reconstruct from the mine entrance? The overhead beams aren't that bad. They'll hold. Come on, you have to see this. Black gold. More? More? Moore, where are you? Over here. The lights went out. I know. You got a flashlight? Of course. I, I can't see it, Moore. Where? Over here. Just follow me. I can't see you, Moore. <laughs> Over here, Banner. See? Over here. Moore, cut the kidding. Just follow me. Pied Piper, right? Moore. Moore, where are you? Turn on your light. Moore. I know this mine like the back of my own hand, Benson. I don't need a light. <laughs> Just follow my footsteps. More! You're right, Benson. These overheads are pretty weak. I think if I kick one, like this... Why, I think the whole place might cave in. Benson, where are you now? Behind these rocks. What have you done? You've trapped me. <laughs> More. <laughs> you didn't really think there was any coal left in this old shaft, did you? <laughs> the Jasons are stupid people, Benson. Trusting people. Pretty soon they'll learn their lesson. When they're broke and I own the mine. You're going to leave me here? You got it. Nobody will ever know. This mine hasn't had a foot set in it in over 50 years. Enjoy yourself, Benson. Find some coal while you're waiting. If you can find any. <laughs> David Bruce Banner, trapped in a remote coal mine, sealed in a natural tomb, the air becoming close, stifling, the underground waters rising. But within the peaceful man, the rampaging monster breaks his bonds. Ice-cold anger turns to raging fury. And from the blazing fury there emerges... The Hulk! Huge, massive, a towering juggernaut, the Hulk strikes out at everything around him. crumble, timbers snap, crack, great boulders are thrown like small pebbles as the Hulk rampages through the mine. Charging through the tunnels like a roaring tank, the Hulk overtakes Keith Moore. No! No! Get away! What are you? No! More, the Hulk makes for the mine entrance, destroying everything in his path. Timbers fall behind him. Great rocks crash to the ground. Ceilings cave in. I'm trapped! Save me! Don't leave me! Come back! Reaching the mine entrance.
entrance, the Hulk staggers into the sunlight, breathing air in great gulps. And then, skulks away into the hills. They find him yet? Yeah, way down the shaft, out of his head, raving about some monster. I'm sorry, Mr. Jason. He was like a son to you, wasn't he? Oh, sort of, yeah. I knew him a long time. Can't figure out what he was doing down in that old shaft. We had it closed as unsafe. He say anything to you about going in there, David? He did mention something about reopening it. The anthracite there, he said. After that, I, I don't remember. Well, he was wrong about that. That was mined out years ago. They say it was the Hulk that caused the collapse. The Hulk? Some kind of monster. People dream up the weirdest things. You're welcome to stay on, Benson. I'll be needing a new manager, and you seem to know your onions. I, uh, that, that's, that's nice of you, Mr. Jason, but I, I think I'll be moving on. Where to, David? I don't know. Anywhere, everywhere. I, I can't seem to stay in one place very long. Well, suit yourself. Excuse me. Hey, Charlie, uh, see you a minute. What are you looking for, David? Huh? What are you after? What are you searching for? I... I don't know, Betty. Myself, maybe, or... Or peace. I don't know. 